Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Pisces for the month of March 2017. Happy birthday Pisces for those that already had their birthday and for those that are upcoming. Happy, happy birthday. This is um, going to be a beautiful month for you. I feel sort of that energy around it. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so this month, I have gotten some really great feedback around the feng shui tips, the quick feng shui tips that I've been getting. And so I'm going to continue that. And I also, um, the guidance from the angels around that was that um, it's really helpful to separate them out so that um, you're clear around the feng shui piece of things and I can give you some concrete action steps around that. And then my deep dive members get a little deeper information around um, that particular topic as well. So it's kind of a um, cool how that's been working out. But so today we're going to do our um, theme of the month. We'll get some general information and then we're going to dig into a little bit more around the money piece of things this month. Um, so sometimes other subjects will come up that have nothing to do with that, but that is um, sort of the energy that's been put out there. The angels wanted me to focus more on the money piece of things this month. Last month we did romance. This month, money, we'll see what happens going forward. I don't know. I never know. So um, let's go ahead and get started. This is the Six of Earth. This is your theme for the month. So the Earth cards are all about how you make your money and what you need to do to be here grounded on Earth. And the Six of Earth is a really a great card because it's about receiving gifts of money, of time, of effort. Um, it's um, lots of good things flowing to you, including career opportunities, which I think fits so beautifully in with the theme that I'm going to be doing for the feng shui tips is around career and you know what you, the most important area of your home is around that so i think that fits in beautifully the other piece that can be happening for you is you might get a loan that will help you feel more at ease financially or potentially be able to pay off some debts in the month of march so that's a beautiful card um, for you birthday pisces for this month let's see what else we have going for you fire and another earth for you so we've got the knight of fire fire cards are all about passion and action and this knight of fire is a duality card so on the one hand about a person on the other hand about a circumstance or experience fire people tend to be very charismatic um, this particular knight of fire is very um, a little bit restless right they have trouble kind of sitting still um, they are very adventurous and very passionate about whatever it is they're doing like they get all in right they go all in which is a beautiful way to be um, they also of course fire people have that self-confidence they they put on that you know just they walk in a room and people you know take notice that type of thing and so this person I feel like is someone that's going to help you with a decision that you've got to make this month and this decision is something that's going to come up rather quickly so you're going to need to make a decision pretty quickly so it's kind of like a timely decision however they do want to make sure that you take time to carefully consider what options you have available to you so it might be that this night of fire <coughs> excuse me it might be that this night of fire gives you um some perspective on the different options that you have available to you okay and then we've got three of fire and again fire cards all about passion and action and this is another beautiful card related to abundance um, it is about um, things looking good financially for you and um, a piece of this is letting you know that you can make long-term plans like you know sometimes you are in such a space of like waiting for the other shoe to drop like even when things are going well financially you're like oh, when is it gonna stop right well don't do that like stop that um, you can make long-term plans you might have to have some patience around things as far as building up that that those reserves or that type of thing but it uh, 
abundance it looks good for you okay um, so be um, you'll have faith around that then we have the queen of earth coming in for you so the earth cards are all about how you make your money as I mentioned and this is a duality card so on the one hand about a person a Again, about uh, circumstance or experience. So earth people are, um, you know, if you think of mother earth, they do tend to be kind of the motherly type. If there was a fire, they would be the ones making sure everyone got out um, before they did, right? And earth people also have a beautiful gift of being able to bring into form um, you know ideas and that type of thing so they're they're good at like manifesting and this particular queen of fire is um is very warm very sensitive very creative all of those kind of things wrapped into one and um the other side of this piece of this for you is um is about um making time for family so this might be this queen of earth could be someone within your family that is needing more attention so it might be one of your children that is just needing more more time more of your time more of your attention at this time during the month of March uh, it also can be um, this queen of earth might be someone that's helping you with a challenge um, so there may be a challenge that comes up this month and what they're wanting you and there's challenges that come up for us all the time i mean in all kinds of different forms so what they're wanting you to do around this particular challenge however is take a very um, sensible approach so down to earth right that earth energy down to earth approach is what they want you to do around that be sensible like common sense is what they're looking for there Okay, so let's see what we have going on for the money piece of things. I mean, so far it's so good, right? So far it looks good. All right. All right, we've got Archangel Azrael coming in, and this is the Counselor card. And the Counselor card, as it relates to this, um, can have a, a dual, um, dual meaning, or what I'm getting as a dual meaning. So on the one hand, you make a great counselor, right? People come to you with their problems, with their issues, you're a great listener, all that type of things. But here's the thing to remember, you also need to seek counsel. So you can't always be, you, you don't always have the answers for yourself. You might be very, very good at giving the answers to other people, but for yourself, um, we all need mentors. I mean, I do, I do private coaching with clients and I also have a mentor, someone that helps coach and, and work with me, okay? So you do need that. Even though you are a counselor, you also need that, okay? So that's coming in around that. And that can be related to money as well as a number of other things. Money is just energy, and so if money is not flowing, there's something that you're out of alignment around, okay? And so oftentimes when you can't see it, um, another person can somebody else can see what you're missing right and as long as you're open to receiving that guidance and being like okay you know processing here's the thing sometimes when people give you um, feedback in the moment you like uh, get defensive or you might just be like oh heck to the no right like just not feeling very good about it what I encourage you to do is get quiet. Like, what? It, why is? What is this coming up for me? Like, what am I meant to learn from my reaction to this? Because it's your stuff. It has nothing to do with that other person says. You were triggered, and there's a reason you were triggered, right? Um, so pay attention to that. And then we have the comfort card, which is Archangel Azrael coming in. And Archangel Azrael is just letting you know that they are, he, she, rather, is with you at your time of need, okay? So you might be in a space where you do need some comfort. You do need to feel like you're loved and supported and all of that. And Archangel Azrael is providing that for you, okay? Archangel Raguel is coming in, and this is divine order. So Raguel wants you to know everything is happening exactly as it's meant to be, okay? There's gifts in everything, okay? So get quiet, find the gift in what's coming up for you and whatever's triggering you, whatever's happening in your life that you don't love. Find out why is this happening? What's the gift in that for me? What's the message? When you find the message, you can move on and open up to the things that you really want. 
Okay, that's what I've got for you Pisces for the month of March 2017. Um, stay tuned for the next video, which will give you some quick feng shui tips about the most important area in your home. Much love to you. Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here with your monthly feng shui quick tips for the month of March 2017. So today we're going to be talking about the most important room or the most important space, I'd rather, in your home. Um, this also applies to your area of business. If you have a physical business location, this is also something that's going to be pertinent for you for that space as well. So the most important space in your home or in your office or in your business is the front door. So just to be clear, the front door is the door where your address is. This is the door where the general public would come into your space. Um, typically it will have your um, house numbers right near by it or right in front of it. Um, oftentimes it's at the very front of the home, so the street that your home um, faces is often the way that it is. Sometimes we find that they're hidden or they're, they're um, kind of down along the side of a building. If you have a condo location, uh, that's a potential. Or, you know, of course, if you're in an apartment complex, it would be the, the door to your space, right? And that would be the front door. And kind of just as a refresher, the way that this Bagua, the Feng Shui mental map lays out, is the front door is going to be along this line typically. Now, as I said, sometimes the the energy, the address is along this side, but the front door might be, you know, along the side, or you might have to walk down a sidewalk to get to the front door over there, or it might be um, set back. So you might have a garage here, and then this space is sort of missing, and you have a front door that's further back. But wherever your front door is, that is the most important area of the home. Why? Because that is where all the energy comes into your space. That's where all the opportunities find you. That is, um, determines a lot of your luck or good energy in the space. We call this in feng shui the mouth of chi, and chi means energy. So it's the mouth of the energy. It's where the energy comes into the space. So a couple quick tips of things that you can do to help improve this uh, area and also to help attract more energy and opportunities to you um, number one is to use it. Uh, so use the front door. Lots of people, in particular where I'm from, Minnesota, we, um, is, particularly in the winter, often use our garage door to enter our space. So we park in the garage and then we'll come in through the garage door. So lots of people never use their front door. Using it increases the energy and attracts more opportunities to you. So one of the things that I often recommend is to use your front door for nine days in a row. So what does that mean? Basically, if you park in a garage, you park in the garage, you get out of your car, you walk to the front door, use your key to open the front door, go in the front door. When you leave, you go out the front door, lock the door, go back to your garage, right? Um, you can obviously open the garage from the inside before you go in and out the front door, but using the front door for nine days in a row helps increase a lot of energy around this. And particularly if you are looking for a job or wanting a career change, because your front door also relates to the career aspects of your space, regardless of whether it's in your career sector or not, it relates, the front door relates to your career. Uh, so if you're looking for a job, I would encourage you to do this right away. Like the very first thing that you do is to go in and out your front door for nine days in a row. And the intention, of course, everything in feng shui is about intention. The intention that you're holding as you do that is that you are attracting energy and opportunities to you. You are attracting the things that you want in your life, right? 
And if it's a job you're thinking about as you're walking in that front door, I'm now attracting the perfect job opportunity for me, working with the perfect people, doing the work that I love to do, right? That type of thing, okay? The second thing is we wanna make sure that your front door stands out. So you wanna make sure that your front door is very visible from the street and the reason for this, again, is when the, the energy can visibly see the front door, it can reach it, right? And it, it's attracted to it. So you want to do anything that you can to make your front door stand out. This is where you will often hear about painting your front door red. And red, um, the reason for red is because red is a lucky color. So that's the reason we often use red because it is a lucky color. And it's something that will make the front door stand out. Now, if your home is red brick, you do not want to paint your front door red. You want to paint it a different color, a color that's different from the rest of the house. And this would be different than the shutters even on the home, okay? So those are your quick feng shui tips for your front door for the month of March. If you're interested in learning more, I do provide deeper um, feng shui tips and of course deeper dive angel readings in my membership. Feel free to check that out below. For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy your month. Much love to you.